Hi everyone, it's Carissa and I am here with a video for you today and today I'm actually using these cuts here and they're from the Hello Kitty Greetings Cricut cartridge. It's actually the car, the rainbow card. I'm going to be creating a birthday card for a little girl and the assembly is going to be pretty easy. I may just kind of skip through that but um, I'm going to add some a few little details and just show you how you can dress up your die cuts. You know, just a couple little ideas and and if you don't have a Cricut, um, that's fine because some of these uh, tips or some of these things that I'm going to be doing to these die cut shapes, you could do with any kind of die cut shape, even pre-bought die cut shapes. So let's get started. Um, just for reference, I have this card base here cut at three and a half, and then so all the layers that go along with it are cut at three and a half as well. I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper here because I don't want to make a mess of my mat. I can start by actually folding this over and what I like to do is rather than try to score it, I kind of just line it up and then crease it real good because sometimes um, I find that on shaped cards, if I try to score it, I've scored it crooked or you know, it's hard to measure what that's gonna do. So the reason I folded this first is because I've actually made this card before and it's actually easier to put these little rainbow pieces on with it folded. So let's um, get started on assembling that and it may be kind of hard to see because I have the black on black but I'm not ready to quite put this uh, cloud layer on yet because I'm going to do some stuff to dress it up. So let's just get started. I'm using the Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and the reason that I like the Tombow Glue, I know a lot of people like the um, two-way glue. The reason that I like the Tombow Multi Glue for this is because it stays wet a little longer. I feel like I have a little bit of time to shift it and, and get it in place, whereas the two-way glue kind of dries kind of quickly so I don't know it's just personal preference whatever works for you if the pieces are large enough you could also just use your um, tape or adhesive runner okay so you can see now that I have all my little rainbow pieces put on let me just close up my glue here and so what I'm going to do now, I can go ahead and attach the inner part of this card. I've cut two of the clouds because I cut my base in black and I actually, you know, to write on the inside, I you could either you you could leave it black and use a white gel pen or you could just attach the white in the card as well. And that way when you open the card, you still have your full rainbow effect. I am trying this new stamp runner by Tombow. I actually was turned on to it. By, uh, in a Jennifer McGuire video and it just looked interesting to me so um, I'm kind of trying that out this has the dot pattern to it and um, but this is unique this these this line of product is unique because you can actually um, put it straight up and down and press and then it applies like a little square of adhesive rather than you know rolling it so if you had small pieces you could do that but I'm trying that, so I'll see how I like the stickiness of it. You never know until you try it. And so I'm going to place this right there. And this inner cloud I'm leaving blank, but the outside cloud is the one that I'm going to decorate. And um, I'm going to move the white sheet now so that you can see what I'm doing on this cloud. So what I have here is I have the Magical Background Cling Stamp from Hero Arts. And I don't actually mount these on the block because I find that, you know, I stamp my backgrounds like this anyway. So I don't feel like I need to. And then I'm going to use some Soft Sky Stampin' Up! ink. Now this ink pad is, or this ink color is retired. It wasn't in color. But um, you could use any kind of light blue. And if your blue is a little more intense than this, you could just stamp it off before you stamped your paper. So uh, I have that inked up. And then what I'll do is just lay my cloud directly on it. And I can grab my piece of scratch paper that I had before. 
and just kind of rub all over. So now I have that pattern on my cloud. And then what I'll do next is I have this Heard From The Heart stamp set by Stampin' Up! And I'm going to use some black memento ink to stamp my greeting on here. Remember, this cloud is on the front of my card, so um, that's why my greeting is going on the cloud. Make sure I have this good and inked up. And there I have my greeting. And then what I'll go ahead and do, I'm going to attach this to the front of the card. I'm not quite done um, decorating it up yet, but the rest of the stuff I can do while it's already attached to the front of the card. So I'm going to add this on the front of the card with some dimensionals from Dimensionals from Stampin' Up! Okay. My cloud's on there. Alright, now I'm going to actually take some of this twine here. This is from the twinery. And I am going to tie a little bow over at the, or coming across there. So I'm going to cut a piece of this off. And then once I have my bow tied, I can just pull these ends to kind of make it the size that I feel is right for the front of the card. So that's about right. And what I'll do is then just trim my ends and I'm going to use a little bit of this Tombow glue to kind of, I like to glue my the knot of my twine ribbons kind of down. I'm also going to take a piece, this is the same piece. This paper, by the way, is all from Stampin' Up! This is Melon Mambo, uh, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, and Tempting Turquoise. Those are all just their um, patterned papers in those colors. And I'm going to take that same Melon Mambo. You can see it's double-sided as well. And I am going to punch this little heart out. This little heart is going to go... I'm going to need to cut this dimensional in half to make it work for this heart. Right, oops, <laughs> stuck to my finger. So I'm going to put that like right over here. And then my last step is going to be to take the Stardust Stickles. I'm going to go around the entire perimeter of the white cloud, and then I'm going to add some little, like in the center of these swirls, I'm going to add some dots of it, just to kind of add a little sparkle, because what little girl doesn't like sparkle on her card? And then I think I'll add some stickles to this little heart here as well. And what I do when I'm covering like a small piece like that is just squeeze them out and then I stop squeezing and just use the nozzle of the stickles bottle to kind of spread that around. Okay, so there we have my finished card. Perfect for a little girl. It's got just enough sparkle to make them smile. And I don't know if you've noticed, but rainbows seem to be really in right now and I just I thought this was the perfect time to make a, a little rainbow card for you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.